So I wanted to talk about five pages that you need for a basic website setup. These pages are your homepage, your about page, your contact page, either services or products page, and don't forget your blogging page. So your homepage is gonna be just something sim simple and just something that you can kind of scroll through. Sometimes it is good to have a lot on your homepage. It really depends on your business, but you don't wanna overload it with too many words. You want it to be eye-popping and catchy so it keeps the customer on your page. The next page is your about me page. And you can put these in all different types of orders. Um, often customers and clients do wanna know about you. So the about page is usually pretty high up on their menu bar. The about page can either be written by you or by a copywriter. A lot of times I do recommend that it is written by you just because it is more personal that way. And um, you can share a memory that you've uh, experienced. You can talk about your experiences with, say, your photographer, and maybe you've worked with certain um, well-known photographers. So you want to mention that. You can have a copywriter write this, but make sure that you are really well connected with that copywriter and you've had a lot of conversations with them so they have a good feel of who you are because you don't wanna go wrong with the About Me page. Then you wanna have your services or product page, either or depending on what type of business you have. A lot of times people are curious, do I list my prices or not? I recommend you list your prices. That way they kind of just know and they um, can jump right in and email you about being interested. A lot of times people kind of like, well, I don't know what the prices are. Maybe they're completely out of my range and they just, Kind of start having a lot of questions and they just kind of go on to another website so i put my prices on my website or you can even have say where your prices start at so you don't have to list all your prices and you can say you offer different types of packages and then the next page i um, believe you should have is the contact page or you could even call it work with me usually i have a form here and you want to make sure this form is connected to your email. A lot of times you can you create the form, but then it's not connected to your email. And then you never know if someone's contacted you. So kind of beats the purpose. With this contact page, you also want to put in your like contact information. So even list your email or um, if you want to, you have, might have a PO box, or if you really want to, if you're a local business, you can list the phone number they can contact you. And if you have maybe a storefront, you can put where you're located and you can put um, the hours that you will be opened and closed. But last but not least, blog. The blog page is super important. A lot of times people kind of look over this and I will admit, I thought I didn't need a blog a few years ago. I thought, you know, it's pointless, like I'm not a good writer. But it's not always just about how well you write. It's good for search, uh, SEO, search optimization. And you can make this blog fun. You, especially say like you're a boarding barn, you can make it where you might spotlight a writer each month, or you might have some barn tips or maybe you did something fun that month, like going to a horse show, or maybe you went on a trail ride. And I would recommend that you are updating this blog about once a month, if not more. This way, it just shows that you're staying up to, uh, up to date on your website and that you're just staying current. A lot of times you see websites kind of go out of date and people easily pass over these websites. So if you want to learn more about why your website is so important, make sure you go to our podcast today that was on Horses in the Morning to learn about why your website is so important, even if you have such a large following on social media. I will link that in the uh, description below. And I'm also providing a website checklist on the basic steps that you need to do to start your website, or maybe even if you are trying to rebrand or just start over because your website is so outdated outdated. You'll have tips like um, hosting, 
um, about your domain, about different types of platforms. So make sure you check that out as well. And it'll be in the description below as well. So thanks for watching this um, video. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Thanks.